Welcome back to School of Calisthenics. It's Tim and Jacko, and today's lesson is all about how to false grip the ring for those ring muscle ups. Making sure you've got a strong false grip is the number one component of getting a ring muscle up nailed down and out of the impossible box. If you can't get the wrist into this position, you can't transition through because the ring is going to move around, you can't shift your hand like you do on the bar. So making sure that you can know how to create a good position to start off with is the first step on getting to that movement nailed. It takes a little bit of wrist flexibility, which you might not be used to. You've got to get used to the technique of where the ring goes onto your hand, which we're going to show you. And then there's a little bit of work in terms of having the strength to hold and maintain that false grip as you pull and transition through that ring muscle up. Let's start at the beginning, hand position. So as Tim mentioned, the ring moves around a lot. You can see it here on the rig when you're on top of it. So we don't have the luxury of being able to rotate our hand or wrist on the ring. We must put the wrist in the position we want to end up at the end. So the end of our uh, transition is the bottom part of a dip. So that's where he wants to be. So then he has to maintain the hand position, but rotate the wrist around. And that's where he's gonna then start that position. So as you can see, it comes diagonally across the base of the palm, coming onto that fat pad there, not on the bony part here, which that's gonna, you're gonna complain about it hurting there. Now on the bony part there, but that is very different. So just grip it again. It's very different to if Tim held it just in his fingers like that. So the difference between there and there. And so if you just go hold up at the top and we can see that angle there, is the flexibility or mobility aspect that we need into that wrist flexion. And then that is gonna be able to uh, hold your false grip position for the ring muscle up. So if you understand whereabouts in the hand the ring has got to sit, the next challenge is to work out how to do it when they're suspended from a bar or, or a tree, whatever it might be that you're gonna hang off. So there's a couple of options that you can do to get into it. Jacko is gonna give us a quick demo. The first one is to take the ring high. So if you grip it up underneath, and then if you watch, you'll slide his hands and down, and it brings the, the wrist into this high cock position. And then all he's gotta do then is just bring the elbow underneath, and you can see he creates this hook position with the hand. The second way you can try is if you just want to reach the hands out to the side. So he puts them onto the rings, and he takes them out to the side, then he brings the elbows in with the hands, and again, creates this hook position, which you can sit into. As you get comfortable, you know where the hand needs to be, you actually find you can probably just go straight into it by just gripping, setting the elbow high, and just dropping down into it. But to first get that feel, to make sure that you've got the wrist in the right place on the hand, these are two great ways just to start to get a feel for getting into false grip. So if we're getting comfortable in our false grip, and, and saying getting comfortable in our false grip, it takes a bit of time to get comfortable in false grip, so stick with it. Like it is, don't, one thing about this is don't sort of ramp up your training super quickly because we're gonna get into the pulling phase. And you're probably not accustomed to pulling into this kind of position, and we do put a lot of tension into the forearm. So build these up nice and slowly. So once Jack goes into his false grip position, our first thing to do is can we just hang in that position? Can we support our body weight whilst in this false grip? This isn't as easy as Jacko's making it look. He's in this short range position where the body is actually, or the muscle is actually at quite a strong point. We've got lots of overlap of the, of the, of the fibers and he can just hold his body position. What you might find when you first start is you go into the false grip, but then you try and you take your body weight and you slip out and then we end up in this position. If that happens, you ring muscle up as dead in the water, so you need to re reset and build that strength so you can actually hold and hang. If we've got the hang nailed down, then we can move into a pull position. So he goes into that shape, he just hooks on again with the false grip, goes into a place where he's comfortable, takes the weight, and he's gonna try and do a pull up in that position. You can see how high he gets. For us to transition the muscle up, the thumbs have gotta to come to the chest. So he's working his strength through that range. And that might be a really comfortable starting point for you to just get more confidence with your muscle up because if you can't get that pull and you can't maintain that false grip, you're really gonna to struggle to do the transition. So that will give you enough to get the false grip correctly and hold it as you do the pull up to start your ring muscle up. But if you wanna put a little bit of icing on the cake and who doesn't want a bit of icing on their cake, the nicest bit about, though, the nicest but also the hardest bit about the false grip is this deep position where we get the arm fully extended overhead and the ring turned out. It takes a lot more strain and, and, and strength to hold and maintain that false grip in that position, but that is then your true starting position for your ring muscle up. It's actually a technique for the ring muscle up and some um, exercises to practice to get good and comfortable with it. But just remember at the start, it doesn't feel comfortable when you first do it. It's, we're not used to having the, the wrist in this position, but do remember it just feeling uncomfortable 
but making sure it's in the right position. So on that fat pad, not on the bone. You shouldn't feel painful on the bone on your wrist. If you're doing it there, then you've got it a little bit wrong. So just pay attention to that. The other thing to be aware of is this is a fairly new movement pattern. So coming into this shape is going to put a lot of tension. We're going to shorten the flexors of the forearm here. And if we're not careful and we don't look after the wrist and the forearm, we can end up with some nasty, grotty unpleasantness manifesting itself in the bony point of your elbow. And when you get there, you've got a fairly long road back. So look after yourself along the way. Build your training up steadily. You don't need to ramp up to three sets of 10 in the first week. Get comfortable, hang, get some mobility work in there. So we've got some videos that you can see on our channel, which we'll link in below, where you can actually start to see how you can sort of loosen off some of that forearm musculature and keep yourself training well because that's what's important that what you can do over the longer term don't go and get yourself a niggle and stop training so until next week class dismissed